Hey guys, hello everybody, I'm Sync, and again welcome back to another raid video and in this video a multi clan versus clan I wanted to jump into the forge, do some forging I've got some of my best gear be it perception, some very nice resilience gear that I use for Hakorn and let's just forge pretty much all the resilience gear that we can that is my plan. I have 112 5 to 6 star pieces. It's a very underrated set. Don't think it gets enough credit. You can put this on a HP champion or a tanky champion. But you can also, because it's a 2 piece set, place this onto, along with a, a different set, on like a damage dealer, just for that HP, for that defense, to keep them alive. So that is the plan, straight off the bat, so we will be using Rank Charms, Rarity Charms and we will be keeping all of the gear when it is forged and then after that I believe I will then sell everything off we will then double check the gear we have, make sure the gear we roll is worth it Obviously, after the first rolls 4 to 8, you will be able to tell kind of how bad some of the gear will be and how awesome some of the other gear is. So, without further ado, we're going to 10,000. This is a great way, not necessarily for points, and we're keeping it. We're just going to be looking through the 112 pieces in its entirety so no matter the stats I'm just going to do it this way that way we get to see exactly how much we're keeping from this we're going to be selling I would estimate around 50% of this so what I'm going to do is I will jump ahead maybe be 15 minutes for me maybe maybe 20 just be a second for you and you're going to see all the gear that I have from this farting session and boom we are back and 62 pieces I used both gem slots for the remaining 50 pieces I did not pretty much because I ran out of charms so this is the fun part this is where I get some of my money back so resistance accuracy Kind of tanky, but a stat, I would all see how it rolls, flat stat, speed into crit damage. I'm not a huge fan, because I can 4 to 6 star, it may triple speed. Speed, HP, accuracy, quite a nice piece. Attack, HP, crit rate, I don't necessarily like this one. HP, speed, HP. The main stat matches the substat, so the set bonus matches the stat, so not too bad. In fact, triple crits, that would be nice, or triple HP, also quite nice. Resistance crit damage, all low rolls there, we'll sell this one. A damage piece for a damage dealer potentially, if you're very early game attack, we'll sell that one. Sell that one, create, I have... It's 5 star, I'll just sell it. Accuracy, HP. 6% HP is a nice little starting base number. I'll keep that. HP attack, we'll just sell the low attack. So We'll sell 294. So, from, so pretty much about 18, 18 or so. 15, 18 weapons, this much left. Now hit the sell button again. And we're going to go through... Helms, Accuracy, Crit Damage, Attack. And potentially, if I need, needed Cold Heart to stay alive in a very weird way, that may work. But I want to just check the Accuracy for that one randomly. 7% HP. That's pretty nice. 6% HP. I don't like the attack that comes with it though. I will not lie. I don't like the flat number there. Resistance, HP, Attack and Speed. All low numbers, but legendary. I want to roll it, see where it goes. Attack, 
accuracy. Hmm, it's low. We have to roll to four to eight to see speed, accuracy, crit damage. Speed, accuracy, crit damage. I mean, potentially could work on someone. Defense attack, HP. Don't like that. Stats. Don't like that. Defense speed. Don't like the low speed. Crit damage, HP. I'm not keeping a five star one. I'm keeping that one, low numbers on that one. We're just going to speed this up a little touch so HP resistance potentially could work well. HP accuracy potentially could work well. HP resistance crit can potentially work well. Resistance defense, defense matches the main stat so we'll try that. A lot of six star pieces here, some nice looking gear, free from the forge no less. So. Resistance, so, okay, yeah, we'll put it, we'll roll it up and see how it goes. Mm. Get rid of that one. Okay, we we'll have nice pieces already. Numbers are getting a bit lower there, so I think I'm going to sell all these blues. I'm just going to do myself a favour and I'm going to get rid of them, apart from that one. Flash that defence, nothing worth keeping there. Flat stat, it's got six speed, so you don't know if it's going to quad speed until you try. HP percent of speed again, accuracy. I mean, it may find a use. Good damage attack on no, we're selling this one, selling that one, selling that five stars. So, unless it's really fantastic. Crit damage with crit rate, so it gives us a potential broken piece. Crit damage, crit rate, broken, is that a broken piece potentially? I hate the top two stats, so I really, I just cannot justify keeping it. Crit rate, defense, so there, yeah, keep a hold of it, get rid of that one, get rid of that one. Defense, HP, crit damage, defense, HP may work. So tanky champion, so crit damage, crit rate, defense. We'll see. Percentage stats are not the worst in the world. Crit damage, attack, crit rate, resistance. Really needs to quad on either of the crit stats or it's a sell. So we've got no, oh, hmm. No, too much risk on that one. Too much risk on this one. Resistance would need to roll, but I don't like the attack on it. Defense, speed, I mean, potential. Get rid of U. Resistance, speed. Yes, maybe. Accuracy, don't like the other stats that go with it. Flat, flat, flat. The more flat ones will be attack resistance now. Resistance at speed, low HP, so. Um, mm, I may actually come back and sell that one. I'm not too. I'm not too taken aback by it, to be fair. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Boots. A hell of a lot of boots here. HP percent. With, if it hits accuracy, I will forgive the terrible. So that's a. This one's a sell straight off. Attack percentage. I'm just going to sell that. Flat attacks, are you? HP percent with speed. Keep this. So defense. If it hits HP, I will forgive. So no. Attack, crit rate resistance, nope, we get rid of you. Defense has speed, accuracy. 
Mm. Yeah. Uh, we'll see how the speed rolls. It doesn't roll speed, we'll sell it. You know the normal drill. You know how we do it. So we'll sell you, get rid of you. Not hugely interested in attack percentage boots. And each piece was like 10k to forge. I've made way more than that back now. So we'll sell you. Not keeping half as much as what you would expect. HP and speed, that can maybe work. HP, speed, defense, why not? Sell you. Sell you. Get rid of you. I mean... Is there a better pair of defense boots here? Or she speed? Because they're speed boots, maybe. Don't usually like crit and resistance in the same... But the speed boots again, and do we have speed boots? It's HP, so we're going to go and sell that, so... We have ended up with 2, 8, 14, 20, 24, 30, 36, 42 pieces from 113 pieces ready to go. So, what I'll do is, yet again, I'm going to level this stuff up, and I will join you when everything is level 8. Voila! Ladies and gentlemen, 24 pieces of pretty good gear, I must say. As you've seen, it's all from the forge, rare level to 8. So it was all 8 to begin with, I then put some more to 12. I sold a little bit, kinda, when it got to 4 and so on, so weapon wise, 1-1-1, one, one, and one, but still a pretty decent weapon there. Resistance, accuracy. Now this, I never made it 12, but I can see faction wars or a doom tower use. Because you'll need accuracy and resistance, otherwise I probably wasn't going to keep it. A lot of HP there. Speed, crit rate, not too bad, so uses for that. HP, accuracy. Double accuracy and attack I don't like. Uh, but... I can still potentially use it on a champion. That gave me crit damage. I'm not sure why I kept it. I'm not too keen on that weapon actually. I like the double crit rate HP. Resistance is useful, I'm not gonna lie. Triple accuracy. Double resistance HP, so a nice enough weapon. Defense, resistance. Nice enough looking there. Defense HP, so matches the main stats perfectly. These, off camera, I need to level them up. It's going to cost me about 5 million a bit. 20% crit rate. God damn it. 19% crit. Some defense. No speed at all. The third roll went to defense, so they're going to be a sell. So, let's do that now. It is a flat main number if it was a percentage start at the top would have been really cool HP who got attack and speed with some accuracy so remove the attack it's a pretty nice pair of gloves all of this as you know free from the forge crit damage crit rate speed resistance again HP some defense is quite good I'm not sure about this chest plate but for a defense based champion, HP gloves, and if I give him a defense chest, I do get some nice speed, some damage, so I'm going to see where I can put it, or I'm just going to sell it. Speed and crit rate, nice enough. Double accuracy, don't like the attack at all, but I like the accuracy. That warrants it being kept. Defense, speed. For a rare weapon, I'll take 10 speed, depending on what it rolls on 12. Depends on whether I will keep it or just sell it straight outright. HP with speed accuracy, quite nice. Speed, defense, and crit rate resistance. So we ended up with 23 pieces from 113. So about 113, I probably sold 30, 40 pieces. I'm not really sure. I have to go back and watch it. As you can tell, the forge is a pretty cool thing. 
and I gained a buttload of points. So now that you've seen the weapons, I need to check my points because I have gained potentially a lot of points just from forging it and just from leveling this gear and there, there, there's other gear on that account I want to level also not really bothered whether he caught to this team or not so members I sat around so I've made maybe like 15,000 points so now that I did it for the points I did it for the gear I did it to show that the forge is a for any level of champion the forge is something that you absolutely should be taking notice of two faction wars does not make a difference if it's level one level two level ten i don't care but try and make sure you do it as time goes on you're going to get your perception gear you're going to get resilience you're going to get health one deflections with perry all the school cool sets from Doom Tower, and you can put them on your champions. That's going to be fantastic. It is a really cool thing to forge, and I now have some sweet ass gear, um, and I also have a lot more resilience to level up that I had previously. So, a pretty successful thing, silver wise. I think we started at maybe seven, eight, or we started at maybe was it ten or so. Nine ten million. It then cost me one point one million to forge it all, give or take. Then I made a buckload back. Then I spent some selling things along the way if the rolls were crap. So I'm not even that bad off for silver. So guys, trust in the forge. Do your factual mores. It is truly valuable this was not around when i played the game when i had half of the things that you have nowadays the game has changed so much and you're getting such a great advantage by doing factual wars when it's unlocked getting your forge when it's unlocked to get that gear it's truly amazing so guys when i end it here thank you so much for tuning in Hope you liked the gear that I got. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, most importantly, I hope you learned something regarding the forge and faction wars. You know, if you need to manual it and it's one key per fight, then grit your teeth. It does suck, but I've done it. You should do it too. And uh, just this is all free gear. You can sell it all the next day. Do faction wars. You can forge something else. And it's free. It's a free resource. So I truly think you should take advantage of it. But guys, until next time, stay safe. Have a lot of fun. Keep on reading. Until next time.